Hello everyone. Well, I wanted to start showing you some videos on the power of the Silhouette Cameo. Now, even before you purchase a Cameo, I'm going to put the link below to Silhouette America. And what it will show is um, the software you can download directly to your computer and try it out. Exactly what you see on my screen here before you ever even buy the machine. So I had actually played with the software a little bit before the machine even arrived. Now it's very similar to the feel of, for example, the Shortcuts A Lot program, if you had ever used that before with your Cricut. Um, but what it does is you can set your page size to be whatever your mat size is. So the mat that I have for the Cameo is a 12 by 12, but you can also shrink whatever paper size you have on um, going through your printer. And you'll see why I'm doing this here in a few moments. Now the first thing I do though when I look at my page layout, I'll go over here and click on Open Grid Settings Window. And this grid here, you can change it really to any color that you are comfortable with. But since I'm just coming from working on a Cricut, the green is just what I'm used to. So that's why I went ahead and set that. I go ahead and show the grid, but you don't have to. You can snap to grid, which is another thing I usually work with if I'm using um, like rectangles. If I'm doing more freehand drawings, I don't do that. Showing the guidelines, as well as snapping to the guides. Okay, and then if you want, you can change the spacing as well. For me, I just happen to like, I prefer the one inch increments. It's easy and then it divides them into, into fourths. So that works well for me. So I'm gonna close that. And since I will be printing this on some paper as we go, I need to open registration mark settings. What this allows to do is allows the silhouette to recognize where the printed page is. So show registration marks and whatever you place on the mat, you wanna make sure it's not where the shaded area is because that's the area the silhouette will read after this sheet comes out of my printer in order to be able to cut the design out. You do have a little bit of room to minimize the size of those areas if you like, um, but for the project I'm doing today, I don't really have to do that, so I'm gonna leave those alone for now. So this white area exemplifies an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is cut out a small design that can overlay on top of my silhouette machine. And that can be found in my library. So I'm going to click show library and your Cameo comes with 50 objects free already included. This is one of my favorites here is the library tag. And of course you can size that to any size you need. But for today, we're going to use the control panel because we're going to make a decorative control panel for the Cameo. So here it is here and all you have to do, you can click on any of the lines on the object and move it wherever you like. So in order just to save some paper, I'm going to move it over here. Now traditionally on your Cricut expression, what you would do is at this point, put down some designer paper and click cut. In this instance, it would be send to silhouette and it would cut it out and it would be great and you can put it on your project. But with a silhouette cameo, I can go a step further. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna select my object and I'm going to just make compound path that just makes everything one unit and make sure that it cuts out all these little blank areas that I wanna make sure are cleanly cut. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pattern inside of this design. 
So I will go up here and open the fill pattern window. Now with the fill pattern window, your cameo comes with some preloaded papers. So this is where the cameo acts a lot like the Cricut Imagine, if again, you're used to working with Cricut machines. Now here is um, the pattern that I think I'll choose for today. And you can see it fills in that area. So you can put in any additional designer papers you have, whether you design them in Photoshop yourself, or if you have digital papers from designers such as Heidi Swap, or digital papers from Close to My Heart and Stampin' Up. But it's really neat because you can even go a step further than this pattern here. I can click on Advanced Options, and if I want to change this pattern a little bit, I can rotate it, and I can rotate it to whatever angle I would like. For this one, I want to go ahead and keep it where it is. Another thing that you have control over is the scale of the pattern. You can go really large all the way down to super, super tiny and it completely changes the look of the design. For me, I'm gonna kinda of go somewhere around the middle. I like that look and feel right there. Now, if you wanted to center your design a little bit better, you can say pan paper, and click on that, and it'll let you move that designer paper. So if I wanted more gray, in there I could do it that way or if I wanted it more pink I could do it that way and so of course we just want more pink okay so now at this point when I'm happy with the design there's two different buttons up here the first one is send to printer so at this time I'm going to load that paper into the printer and click Send to printer. I'll select the correct printer and hit print. Now I've already done that, so I'm going to cancel out of this for now. And then what I'll do is I'll bring this back to my Cameo. I'll put it on my mat just as demonstrated on this image here. So I'll make sure to line up that corner of my 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper right here onto this corner of the mat um, in order to go into the silhouette. And as once as I enter that into the silhouette, it's going to cut this design out for me perfectly. So let me show you that in a separate video. So what you would do is you would click send to silhouette and then it will cut. So I will show you these steps from my printer to the silhouette. Okay, so as simple as that, you will see now how perfectly this machine cuts everything. I really like the mat. It's not too sticky. It seems to have just the right amount of stick on it. So there's the precise cut. Let me just put this mat to the side. But here you can see the neat effects of the Cameo Silhouette. You can print on your printer. It reads those registration marks perfectly. And then it cuts it out with such precision. Now some people said it's quieter than the Cricut. I don't think that's the case. I think they're about the same. But the purpose of this piece is you can decorate your little control panel just like so. Well, Silhouette thinks of everything. I just realized you don't have to glue down your piece of paper. I didn't want to glue it in here because I don't want to make my um, Silhouette all sticky. So they have this clear piece of plastic over it, over this white sheeting, 
and this just comes right off. And then all you do is stick your piece of paper right in here, no adhesive necessary, and put the clear plastic panel that they have right on top of it and you're all set to go.